everyone. I wanted to work on a sign with you today. I got a bunch of stencils in, um, and I am delighted to show them to you today. So we're going to be working on a fall sign, and we're going to um, have some beautiful fall colors. All I did is I took this board, and I stained it, and then I sanded it all around, and now I'm going to put this gather here with grateful hearts, and I'm going to come through and put a bunch of different leaves, some multicolored leaves, and you're going to walk through this with me. I hope that you enjoy it. This is Chocotour's Chocology paste, comes in an array of colors, and we also have the stencil. The stencils, the way that they work, is they're, they have an adhesive back, and then they have like a silk screen layer in the areas where you're going to be putting the chalk. And that allows for the chalk to go right through, and then we can peel the stencil off, plop it in the water to wash it off, wipe it off with a Clorox wipe or baby wipe or something like that, and then we'll be able to reuse it. And we're going to look at that in just a second here. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I want to get started with the gather. See if I can put my phone here. Maybe pop this up a tad so you all can see this. I'm going to get going with the word gather, and we are going to uh, see what we can do with that. I think I'm going to do this in orange. And so what I could do is go around and put the color on with a toothpick or a, a popsicle stick or something like that. I could just grab this little squeegee that we come, the squeegees come in a couple different sizes. This is the smaller one. Some folks like to uh, use the squeegee and actually cut it in half for smaller areas. But I'm just going to go with a full size for now. And, all right, so we've got the chalk on there. So I'm just really smearing it on there. And now I'm going to wipe it off. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through and I'm going to oh, get some more of that off. The chalk is awesome because if you do any painting, you know that that paint often goes to waste. I'm going to just throw that chalk right back in there. Then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab some yellow chalk. And fill in the words at the bottom. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let them blend. Right? It's fall. Let's do it. And then I'm going to blend up a little bit, too. That might be cool. I tried it in my last video, and it worked out well. If I found that I didn't like it, I could just go right through and wash it off because this is a semi-permanent application. We can wipe the chalk off if we run into problems or if we have, like you can see over here, I ran over the edge. I can just wipe that off. Um, it's not permanent unless I seal it. So what I could do is go over that with a wet cloth. If it was a little teeny tiny thing, I could go over it with a Q-tip, and then we'd be good to go. I'm going to take the stencil off first. So let's do the reveal here on the stencil. See what we get. And that is so beautiful. Absolutely no bleed and exactly what we wanted. I'm going to dunk that in the water because we want to be able to use it again. We don't want the chalk to get stuck. On that stencil, on the screen printing part of it, because we want to be able to use that again. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and put some beautiful leaves around here. But you can see that. Look, I made a mistake. I just wiped it off. If this was a mistake, I would just wipe the whole thing off and start all over again. All right, here we go. We are going to work next on some leaves. So I'm going to place them around here and there. And there's no method to this. I'm just doing it the way I want right now. 
There are a bunch of beautiful leaves in this one collection of stencils. Now, when you get a stencil from Chart Couture, some of them come with collections, so you just you cut them apart and you use them the way you want. But you and you, of course, you can mix and match within different collections, which people do all the time. So I'm gonna have this one kind of going off the side. I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna have this one coming in from this way. All right, now you guys are in for a treat. Let's see what we're gonna do here. I think what I want to do is I want to put some, get some fall colors going. So I'm going to come in with some yellow. Let's try this on just a couple first. And then we'll come over here and do some, some different stuff. I did a video earlier today on this and it was terrible. Like my hands were all in the way. You couldn't see anything. My phone fell off the stand. It was a mess. It was a mess. All right. Now I'm just going through and putting different colors here and there. And this is just personal preference. And let me see. I think I want to put a little bit of purple. We get purple in the fall, don't we? There is no method to this. Again, no method to this madness. I'm just doing what I feel like. And I think I'll do a little bit of red. All right. Now I'm going to come back in with this squeegee that I was using before. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly clean, and I'm fine with that. Um, in fact, you know, if I wanted to grab a little more just to make sure it was going to smooth over well, that's fine. That's why I just grabbed a little bit of yellow. Uh oh, I mixed my yellow and my orange. I'm going to have to go back in and clean that later. All right, so now I'm going to squeegee this all together. Spread it all around. And I do want a little more of that yellow. I don't have quite enough chalk on this thing yet. There we go. Now it's coming together. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments and I will do my best to answer after the video ends. I am not good at recording and answering questions. It's just not. I apologize. I hope to get better, but you know, I think that my generation, meh, maybe not so good at that. But I'll get it. All right. So look at this beautiful stuff we got going on. It's a big fat mess. Now I could take this and put it in another jar and kind of let it all sit and end up with some, you know, odd color later. I'm going to hold it off to the side because I'm actually going to reuse that. All right, so let's go for the reveal on this. Look at that beautiful, beautiful leaf. Okay, and throw that in the water because I do want to reuse that. And I'm going to do the same with this leaf. I mean, come on, you guys, look at that. How simple is that and absolutely gorgeous. Can change the decor of your house anytime you want. All right, so I got some chalk here. I can choose to put another stencil there and chalk right over it, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do there yet, so I just wiped it away. All right, so let's work on these up here. We're gonna, I think we're going to go for purple again. We're not having to put as much on this one because I do have some chalk left over on that squeegee, and I am going to continue to use it. That's personal choice. You can do whatever you want, obviously, right? My husband says, I, then I say, I do what I want. It's so true. But how else are you going to be you, right? You don't want to be everybody else. All right. Ooh, what a mess I'm making. Hold the mess. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. You're going to love it. <laughs> I wonder if I get it, ever get these colors separated again. All right, here we go. This time I got a little more red in there, and I think I'm digging that. I like it. Oh, I just dated myself by saying digging, didn't I? Okay. 
Okay. And oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I didn't turn my volume down. All right. Let's keep going. <laughs> that didn't happen. Is it live or Memorex? Definitely live, right? All right, done with that one. I'm going to pull it away. Gosh, you guys, it just keeps getting better. It just keeps getting better. So I know what I'm going to move on to next. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these leaves out of here and, and uh, clean it up so I can use it again. And then I'm going to come in here, put a little more chalk paste on here, and squeegee this off. So that it doesn't dry. You definitely don't want it drying because um, we don't want that screen get all jammed up. Okay, let's take that off. Okay, you guys, really? Look. Look how awesome these are turning out. They just look beautiful. Okay. Let's do a couple more, and then we're going to add some cool elements to it. So I talked to you about reusing these, and all we're going to do is I could have just put this right back on, wipe, maybe wipe down the back or whatever. Um, as long as it's not clogged, I can reuse it right away. So I'm just wiping it down. I'm going to place it wherever I, wherever I need it. That looks good. All right, and these, and then I have these really cute little elements. I'm going to put over here. And one right here, maybe. Can you guys see that? Can you see that cute element? We're going to see when they come off what they look like, okay? Now, so I think with those little elements, I'm going to do purple and red. That'll be pretty. Again, just a little bit here and there. You can be intentional about it. Like I can put it like right on the end where the berries are. Or, or I can just place it on there and smear it around. Totally up to me. I do want to kind of be careful. On the edges, because I really don't like to clean up so much, but I am pretty impatient, so who knows what we'll get. Some folks decide to, um, when they're doing this, that they want to cut these little squeegees in half, because it is easier to get into the finer places, but you don't have to do that. You can use a popsicle stick if you choose. All right, we're going to pull up these little elements so you can see them. Let me wipe my hand. All right. And here is one. Very cute. Very cute. Throw that in there. And then this other one. I'm actually not going to throw this one in there because I'm going to reuse it, like, right away. So... I'm going to use my wipe, my Clorox wipe. Could be a baby wipe. Just wiping it away, getting it ready for reuse. Put it off to the side, and I'll work on this guy over here. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I'm telling you, well, I am just not good at this. I guess you guys can figure that out. It kind of goes without saying, right? You can see. You can see. All right. I think I need a little more green on this baby. So we'll just do this one all green and yellow. Nah, a little bit of orange. All right. Same squeegee we were using before. I'm not going to mix it as much this time because I kind of like the look it's getting with that green and orange. So I'm going to leave it like that and pull it straight away. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. I'm going to... Put that one aside and grab another one of these leaves out here. You guys, this is so much fun. 
everybody is an artist with these stencils. I'm not kidding. Everybody can do this. Like I said, if you don't like what's going on, you simply wipe it away. All right. Let's do another one. Let's see. We're going to do one like right here. I think that'll be pretty. All right. I think we'll do that yellow and um, the yellow and green and orange again. It turned, it turned out gorgeous, so we'll do that one again. Now, I could do this a lot faster. I'm just kind of just playing with it so you guys can look at it with me. But it's up to you how you want to do your own stencils. This is a personal thing. Um, you could do it a little bit over time. You could only do part of it. You, you know, it's just completely up to you. There you go. I'm going to put that stuff aside so I can reuse it later. And here we go with that stencil. Yay! Yay! There's a little element I'm going to put here. Now, if I want to put an element, let's say I want to put an element like right here, right next to it, and it is like it's fresh. I just did this. Look how, come on, you guys, look how crisp those lines are. Look at them. Even the little tiny outline, it's, it's fabulous. If I want to do one immediately, I can take a hairdryer for that and uh, it will it will become dry right away, like, you know, 10, 10, 30 seconds, and then I can put this right up against it. Or I can put it up against it and just be careful not to lay the little flat down on top of it. I'm going to err on the side of caution, <laughs> and we're going to put one right here. I already know that this one's dry. Now, you can see I've actually got it overlapping a little bit on this leaf, and that's okay. Um, these things you can build on top of them. So we're going to do that. Actually, I'm not going to, um, I don't think I'm going to put any more color on that. I'm just going to use what I already have. See what we get. It's going to look like a muddy mess, but we're going to live with it or we'll wipe it off. Okay. Now, like I said, this is, oh, I, I actually really like that a lot. I like that color. That turned out to be a, uh, like an olive color. It's beautiful. It's that muddy mess I was using. But it turned out really nice down here. All right, so, like I was telling you, this is a semi-permanent product. So you can use these stencils and this chalk paste to make these beautiful designs and they can be temporary. You can wash it off and start again in another season or when you find another stencil that you like or you can leave it like this and hang it up and it's good to go as long as nobody's messing with it, meaning that they're not spraying water directly on it, on it and letting it sit. But if you do want to, you know, hang this outside, or maybe you're putting it on your mirror, which people do, or a wall. Um, you can just, if you're going to put it on a piece of wood and you wanted it to be able to go outside, you would just spray some uh, polycrylic, just a polycrylic spray on it, and you're good to go. It'll be sealed. It's going to be sealed in there forever. All right, well, I'm just going to put some final touches on this, and then I'm going to come back and put my finished project in the comment section and I hope you guys have enjoyed this it's been informative for you um, again this is chalk couture with the chalkology paste and if you want to know anything about them just you know just hit me up I can tell you all about it and uh, get you get you going and becoming this fabulous artist right away thank you